have, in, right now, you have an example of the, the piece that you were talking about that was actually on the head of a pin. And, mm -hmm. and uh, if you might want to spin that around so our viewers can see it. This is a what would have been a typical illustration using pen and ink and pencil mm -hmm. without a lot of computer work, right? Right, okay. no and, computer work here. And, and what you do is you, you draw it on a piece of paper and mm -hmm. onto a board with a piece of trace to cover it, pen mm -hmm. and ink. Oh, okay, that's yeah. right. and, and these kinds of things wind up published in these smaller folios as mm -hmm. type of book. And yeah, this is a publication that we do in house. It's our museum publishes these that are called Contributions mm -hmm. from the Museum of Paleontology. And this is an older version, we restyled it now, but um, this is where a lot of the work ends up. And it also ends up in college textbooks and you know, bound books at the library and mm -hmm. lots of places. Mm -hmm. Science magazine, Nature Mag, a lot of different magazines right. publish their stuff and well. So what's what's one of the bigger publications you've been? Well, uh, I guess that one of the bigger ones was the article in Science uh, that described the first the the first known complete Foot, leg and foot of a whale uh, and it was amazing uh, I got to draw it and was one of the first ones to see it and it was exciting mm -hmm. wow. it was an actual little vestigial leg mm -hmm. a little with little toes and everything really? mm -hmm. wow. yeah because the whales unlike a lot of things which came from the ocean onto the land and you know evolved there um, for that train of thought Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so we all we kind of think like that. In, you know? in science. Yeah. Then uh, the whales came from land and eventually worked their way back into the ocean. And full know, size whale we see today. Yeah. That large they traveling ones, on land. Well, no, they weren't that big. They came oh. from, uh, you know, they evolved mm -hmm. over millions of years from a small um, four legged creature, you know. Really? And then went back into the water. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there was less competition, mm -hmm. more food, you know, mm -hmm. more. Yeah. It took a long time, a long time, but it was a wonderful to see that connected to the whale because people, uh, you know, figured that that's, or theorized that that's, that they were there, but no one had ever seen mm -hmm. a leg on a whale. Oh, and um, when we saw, saw the whole thing and had it in hand, it's proof, you know, then, the actual proof that, that it was attached to that whale. Wow. You know, where was it found? It was found, oh boy, I can't remember. Not the River Rouge. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm trying to remember if it was found in Egypt or Pakistan. I think Egypt, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was found in Egypt. Right. That, so that. <laughs> so there's all kinds of really interesting things you get to lay hands on and. Draw. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I say, everything is interesting, but that was really a find, and that went in right into Science Magazine, which is about the most prestigious magazine publishing if you're a scientist, yeah. science and nature. Well, congratulations. Well, it wasn't me that found it, <laughs> well, but no. I did. I did get to do. A drawing of, mm -hmm. of the leg and how it worked, and it was like a little chicken leg. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm -hmm. well, uh, yeah. In fact, a... this year, uh, this month's National Geographic has a whole article on that, um, and our director's picture is in there. Uh, it talks about uh, it's in a place called the Valley of the Whales mm -hmm. in Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be the bottom of the ocean, and there are whales. Laying around everywhere, fossil whales. Really? Yeah. Wow. And this so, August 2010 issue? I think it was the August issue, mm -hmm. yes. It's real interesting. It's about a 19 page article. Mm -hmm. I'll so, look it up. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, Bonnie, uh, thank you very much oh, for an so interesting welcome. discussion. And it's good to see uh, someone who really enjoys their work and what's mm -hmm. coming to work. Uh, we hope that uh, through the, uh, the our nonprofit that. You get these opportunities, you develop your interests, your skills, and can and can do these kinds of things yourself. Thanks very much, Bonnie from uh, University of Michigan, Ray Baker. Thank you very much.
So, Bonnie, now uh, we've gone through and we've seen all the fine examples of your work and you know how you work. Uh, but off screen, on off camera, you had mentioned that there is an event in your life right now that relates quite a bit to our uh, audience, our wounded, and you wanted to mention a little bit about that for me, please. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I would like to. Um, about a year and a half ago now, I was diagnosed with cancer. So I'm dealing with the emotional and physical results of that. And I think what I'd like to impart is that it has been such a blessing for me to have the ability to do drawing and to have a job that I love to come to and to get really involved in something other than just myself. It, it, it really is. It's wonderful. So if you can latch on to something like that. It's and just being creative as you are. And, and yeah. To produce such good work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a huge help. Yeah. Just huge. Well, mm -hmm. Bonnie, uh, good luck with your situation in life. And thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with mm -hmm. us today and inviting us here to see all this great work. Uh, good luck to you. And thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You're so welcome. Thank you.